skin, Big Vanish. Hello, Perfect Beauties. This is Daisy, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about extreme anti-aging secrets or ways to age gracefully. I'm turning 30 years old in a couple of months, and while I don't think I look super young, I would say for my skin, I look pretty good. I'm not wearing any face makeup right now. I just did the new banisher treatment on my skin, so I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm just filming this video. But I don't have, I don't have crow's feet. I don't have like the eye wrinkles. I think if I have anything that's showing my age, I would say it's probably right here. My laugh lines right here. And you guys, I swear, and this is not to continuously promote banish, but I swear, I think I don't have eye wrinkles because I continuously use banish on my temples all the time. Um, you guys know I have acne scars on my temples, so because of that, I am continuously going over this area where I would get crow's feet. And because I'm continuously building collagen and using azorbic acid and banish oil onto my skin, I feel like that has prevented me from really showing any kind of crows or laugh lines. It's funny because my brother, who is 12 years younger than me, he actually has wrinkles right here when he smiles or just in general and he's only 18 and I don't so <laughs> that's good to know and again this isn't to say that I want to look young forever I think you should be your age and own it because that is part of who you are and your experiences but for me I definitely want to look like I lived an amazing life through my face. I don't want to look like I got hit by a truck and I lived a hard life. Even if I did live a hard life, I don't want to look like it, right? So I definitely want to age gracefully and there's nothing wrong with looking 40, 30, 50 years old and there's nothing wrong with being older or younger. I mean, I think society artificially puts this like crazy standard for us to look 21 at all times and that is not possible for me i don't think i'm gonna get botox probably until i'm like late 40s that's like my agreement to myself because i feel like if i get botox now i'm not going to take care of my skin i will use that as an excuse not to like have to take care of my skin so i don't want to get botox until i really need it it's probably like late 40s and then i think maybe when i'm like 65 or 60 years old i might do a facelift or i might get some of that like saggy skin removed or like the neck lift or whatever but I don't plan on getting any kind of procedure done on Tom in my late 40s so that's how it is I want to tell you guys some secrets to really slowing down the aging process and aging gracefully so it's really important to know that when you're doing anti-aging and anti-aging preparation you want to start before it actually happens so when you already have those wrinkles and fine lines there's really nothing you can do to get rid of them other than like inject fillers and again after the age of 20 your body naturally produces one percent less collagen every single year so that is why a 20 year old looks younger than a 30 year old and vice versa you actually start the aging process really young at 20 years old you want to start in your 20s you don't want to wait until you're like 50 to start the anti-aging process the first thing i would recommend first and foremost to slow down the anti-aging process is one to always wear sunscreen and i know that has been said so many times out there but I really feel like Asians look a lot younger <laughs> in general because one, genetics. I think genetics count for maybe 85% of the aging process. But two, also Asians in Asian culture, stereotypically we are obsessed about, you know, going out in the sun. We're always the ones carrying umbrellas. We're wearing those weird like motorcycle shield things. We're just constantly protecting ourselves from the sun. And you might laugh at us when we're walking down the beach covered head to toe with sun protection but you're not going to be laughing 20 years from now when we're going to look the same so i would always say wear sunscreen i always have a hat or some kind of visor or cap in my car or in my backpack or wherever it is that i am just to protect my face and honestly it's not even for anti-aging it's so that my acne scars won't get darker but i love how treating acne scars is the same way you would treat anti-aging stuff like you're both trying to prevent the skin from creasing any more than it is so so I always carry a hat because I've always using the banisher on my face and I want to protect my face from the sun. Just carry some kind of 
like a accessory or something a hat or whatever to prevent yourself from the sun and i also always buy the cheap ass sunglasses i don't own gucci sunglasses i don't own chanel sunglasses because i would lose all of them so i buy you know the 20 25 dollar sunglasses and i buy the big big ones and i put them everywhere i put a bunch in my car i put a bunch you know in my backpack in my suitcase wherever it is and i am so it, that way it protects my eyes and i actually did that because i had lasik so i'm not actually allowed to look at the sun but if you have the big frames it will kind of cover up this area so that way this doesn't get exposed to sun damage and it won't crease you know and get lines through there always wear sunscreen no matter what you're doing where you are i always try to wear a tinted moisturizer that gets me in the habit of using sunscreen i always try to get the foundations with the spf i know some people don't like using them because there's flashback in flash photography but i don't go anywhere where people are taking pictures of me in flash so um i'm not that cool there's no paparazzo <laughs> taking pictures of me so i I always try to get the foundation with some kind of SPF in it so that way it is a reminder for me to put it on. I have this a little pouch that I carry in my little Lululemon backpack and I'll just share it with you a little bit what's in here. I have things from eye drops to lip gloss to even a shot wipe but my favorite thing is I actually buy this kind because I like the size of it. This is the It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream and I love It Cosmetics and I love Jamie Kern Lima, the founder and extraordinary girl boss who founded the company. But I love using this. It's really small. I just put it on and I always put this in my backpack because usually I'm running around. I'll even grab coffee and then I'll forget to put on some sun protection. So I love this because it's so tiny. You can carry it anywhere, throw it anywhere. I also keep some of this kind of stuff in my car just in case I forget. Just having sunscreen accessible wherever it is that you are is really the key to not forgetting to apply it and I always try to get things with titanium dioxide and zinc oxide because it will really help reflect the Sun from getting into you so I love this stuff any kind of sunscreen or wherever you can just keep it around is really good the next thing to preventing anti-aging is be careful of what you wash your face with so when I wash my face I don't use anything that foams my skin like after you wash your face you don't want it to look like your skin is tight contrary to popular belief you don't want to feel like your skin is clean you want to feel like your skin is clean but not like clean you know what i mean so any kind of um, surfactants or any kind of sulfates or foaming agents in the face washes that you use are going to strip away the natural oils in your skin and again dry skin is going to cause aging and it's going to cause the wrinkles to appear deeper to crack more so you just want to keep your face always moisturized and that means not using anything harsh to remove your makeup or to clean your face so for me what i do is i use this is the starter cleanser from banish i don't think we sell this anymore but i really love this product because if you look at the ingredients in the back there's absolutely no sulfates nothing that foams it actually works more like a lotion than it does a cleanser and if i need to remove makeup i will use either a makeup wipe or i will use my stellar water or i will use something like coconut oil or some kind of natural oil to get rid of all the makeup and then i will go in with something like this nothing that foams to kind of just cleanse the face naturally but i really try to avoid using any kind of harsh exfoliants on my face i will try to avoid using anything that like foams or just really strips away makes my face feeling clean so once your face feels clean i feel like you have overdone it with the stripping of the oils again the oils are there in your skin for a reason there's no reason for us to take them out of our skin because once we strip away our skin of the oils first of all our skin is going to dry but second of all our skin is going to overcompensate by producing more oil so we don't want that third tip is don't use a like heavily clean cleanser or foaming cleanser if you want really good recommendations for what to use I would say go to Whole Foods, go to a natural store and read the ingredients. See if you know what everything is in there. Don't use anything with sulfates or anything that kind of foams. The next thing is in your skincare is you have to be so, so careful of using products with alcohol. There's so many ingredients in skincare products that have alcohol in them as one of the main ingredients. I think one of those famous face sprays has alcohol and it feels really good because the alcohol makes the product evaporate very, very fast from the skin so you feel like it's very refreshing but in the long run it's gonna dry your skin out like crazy so I don't use anything in my skincare with alcohol I love using the vitamin C beauty elixir from banish because it has no alcohol it has aloe vera leaf juice instead so that's really great but 
if anything you want to use like a face spray or whatnot you can buy this Evian water it's pure Evian water and I believe this is 10 bucks and it was funny when Jeffree Star was using it he was like I just sprayed five dollars on my face so let's do this <laughs> love that or you can use something this is called the Tatcha um, luminous dewy skin mist so any kind of skin mist to hydrate the skin is really good. Not wearing any foundation, like please believe me when I say that, okay? Like there's nothing moving, okay? You wanna use some kind of skin mist, you wanna keep your skin hydrated, any one of these will do. And I like to plop this in my suitcase, especially when I'm traveling. So when I'm traveling every few hours, I will actually, you guys, I'm kinda crazy, I will apply the banish oil on my skin before the flight and then I will just keep spraying my skin with the vitamin C beauty elixir. It kind of seals everything and it keeps my skin really, really hydrated on the flight but you can use any of these sprays but I think especially in really dry areas like airplanes um, if you're in the desert if you're at Coachella whatever spray this on constantly keep your skin hydrated and don't use any alcohols on your skin okay so you can just read the ingredients in the back of the label if there's anything like alcohol or ethanol or any kind of thing as one of the main ingredients skip it the next thing is to use some kind of moisturizer on your skin constantly and I like using the vitamin C cream for banish I love using this because it has two different forms of vitamin C but the first ingredient is aloe vera leaf juice so it, you're basically putting aloe vera on your skin every night I take this and I put a thick layer on my skin and then I will put the vitamin C beauty elixir on my skin and spray my skin with this right after so it kind of moisturizes and sinks into my skin but use a really good moisturizer make sure you understand the ingredients in there make sure there's nothing that has mineral oil or parabens dimethicones cymethicones any kind of silicones in there no petroleum in there use something that has natural based ingredients um, so it'll sink into your skin if you cannot get the banished products I would recommend as an alternative going into your local Whole Foods or natural store and using something on your skin. Using some kind of moisturizer continuously at night is really, really good to slow down the aging process. And then the next thing is to always drink a ton of water. So I actually drink so much water and I'm really, really happy that I have these issues because it's forced me to be really healthy. For example, if I don't drink enough water, I develop migraines, so I'm always peeing, I'm always drinking a ton of water. In fact, right here I have a bottle of Perrier with me. So I'm always drinking water, always staying hydrated. So you always want to stay hydrated. Again, good skin comes from the inside out. So drinking a lot of water, avoiding alcohol, avoiding things like a ton of coffee, avoiding sugars will really help your skin look and age beautifully and gracefully. So the last thing to extreme anti-aging is to use collagen induction therapy. I think collagen induction therapy is one of the lowest hanging fruit. It's really inexpensive and it has really great results. Very little downtime, especially with our new Banisher product. But for you guys who are not familiar with how collagen induction therapy works, is in here is your skin. There's little elastin fibers in your skin. This is again the collagen fibers. After you turn 20, 1% of it is gonna disappear, okay guys? So what we're gonna do with the Banisher is it has tiny little needles, and again, we're gonna stamp it onto our face instead of rolling it, and it has, it's gonna build tiny little pockets in the skin, little holes in the skin, and what that does is it's going to be able to create a channel for the Banish Oil, which has pure azorbic acid, to go into the skin and then further speed up collagen, and it kind of falsely induces collagen in the skin, but we don't care how collagen gets there as long as it gets there, right? It's gonna build that up and then over time, your skin is going to interpret those tiny little pinprick holes as an injury and your skin is going to use its natural defense and healing process by further building collagen into the skin and therefore your skin is gonna look as good as new. You're basically forcing collagen into your skin by tricking it that there's a wound in there naturally. So this is the Banisher product. This is the little needles on, they're very, very tiny gold electroplated 
needles that will go into the skin and further build the collagen onto the skin. So it's really great. It has very little downtime. All you do is you take it and you kind of stamp it around. You take it out and you stamp it around, turn it, stamp it around, turn it in areas that you want to fight anti-aging. And you guys, I swear I don't have crow's feet or any kind of laugh line wrinkles around my eyes. I don't have any of that. And I think it's really because I've been stamping my face and using the banisher right along my temples. That is where the crow's feet would have happened, but because I've had acne scars there, I've been trying to get rid of it by using this, and it's I don't have any kind of crow's feet or anything here. Like, even when I smile, there's nothing that comes up there. It does then might run in my family. My family does have crow's feet, so I really think the reason why I don't have it is that. So right now, I'm gonna start using this right here on my laugh lines, because I start noticing a little bit of, you know, little bit of volume we can put in here and then maybe along right here I think I have some like lines going on but that's totally okay I'm 30 years old lines are gonna happen I can't prevent it but I just want to slow down the process if possible it was really funny on Jeffrey Star's video he was talking about how he doesn't he's trained himself not to move his face and I'm like I don't think I'm that extreme I'm not gonna train not to move my face if I want to smile if I want to develop laugh lines if I want to develop smile wrinkles that's perfectly okay with me so thank you all so much for watching we're gonna be doing a giveaway of this new banisher in the banish kit just look at the description box below for the exact details of the giveaway but I really want to know what your number one anti-aging secret is or if you know of somebody who looks amazing for their age let us know what their secret is because I want to get as many secrets as we can so that way I can know what is going on with people's skin and what the truth about how they're looking younger is because who doesn't want to look younger every day and again you guys I did a video about um, am I expired a while back and it's not about trying to look younger it's not about trying to deny your age it's not about trying to be somebody else to me it's all about doing things I can now to age gracefully to not look like I got hit by a truck or worse not <laughs> to look like I lived a miserable life even if I did live a miserable life I want to look like I lived a nice, happy, and healthy life. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. There's a